Let me give you some food for thought. Juneteenth, an echo of our collective resolve to create a more perfect union. That's what this day is about. That's it. June 19 combined to Juneteenth, commemorating when all became free, right? Because the Emancipation Proclamation, right, January 1863, ended slavery on paper and in law, but not in reality. And by the way, we've never celebrated the Emancipation Proclamation as a national holiday. Why? Why not? Here's the truth. It took over two more years after the proclamation, June 19, 1865, for all enslaved people to be free. And that came with a proclamation from Major General Granger in Texas. Okay? Why did it take so long? Because change takes time. And not just then. There was resistance. And it has all continued as a dynamic in different ways and to different extents. The fears at that time were then echoed in the 60s, when the promise of freedom under law came to a head. The same fears echo today. As intensely? Depends. Uh, are they about the same things? No, but it's all about the same evolving structure. Why? Because change takes time. But make no mistake. Though we did not start recognizing this day until President Biden made it a national holiday in 2021, it is our best measuring stick for the dreams of a more perfect union. The promise of America will only be fulfilled when all people, regardless of any type you can apply, share the same treatment under law and the same opportunities and the same respect within our culture. That's what today reminds us of, the struggle for a more perfect union. And that struggle continues. Now, hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.